Okay, hello everyone in ARC 483E. Welcome to the third week of remote instruction. Um, remember, triple zero hosting is free, but it's far from great as we've talked about many times. So plan for the failures. Get that second, even third domain like we've talked about and look into the alternate ways of uploading files if you run into that issue where you just can't do it through Dreamweaver. I know I sent you out an email on that, but let me just make sure everybody knows where that is on my website. So if you just go to the instructional videos, videos for our class, and let's see, I think they're right here in this second set. Yeah, there's the ones on defining a site, and then the defining the site, making it go live was the last video, and now I've added one right here, uploading directly to triple zero. So if this should fail you, doing it in Dreamweaver, then here's an alternate way to do it. It's a little bit more cumbersome, but at least you can get it done when triple uh, zero happens to lock you out that way that some of you have ex experienced in Dreamweaver. And um, you guys are you know mostly doing a great job of following instructions uh, but just know that the instructions you know just like before it was what I said in cl class combined with what is posted in titanium announcements now it's pretty much these weekly videos plus what's posted in titanium so I ask you a big favor don't try to wing it and in fact, what I'm telling a lot of my uh, students at the community colleges is get a checklist, um, especially if you've got multiple instructors and multiple classes. It's hard to remember. Everyone's you know doing this a little bit differently. I mean, regardless, we're all different instructors, but you know, right now everyone's just kind of finding their way. So I highly suggest always, not just now, but always having a checklist, writing down you know, basically the to-dos that come up in this video, uh, whether you do it in your phone or an actual physical checklist, but then when you get ready to turn the assignment and you look through the checklist and you say, ah, okay, I know he asked for this, this, and this. Let's make sure that I give him this, this, and this. Okay, so um, for today's process check, um, you're just going to post your site's URL in the titanium discussion post and that should say say yeah it'll say um, you know uh, for March 26 um, and then what you want to do in fact let, let me just go to it because I have all of this stuff that I'm about to go over right here inside the post as well okay so you will find it under topic 2 and it says for March 26 and so what you'll do is you will post your site's URL in the post. Um, if by us, and I do mean us, um, because it'll be me looking at your site and at least two classmates, um, if it will not be clear to us what's going on with your site, um, by us just going to your URL, you know, in other words, when we go to your URL, maybe you still have some of the test colors in the way that I was doing it in the video. Um, and if you can't get those out by the time you put this in, then also include some images of and then and maybe a little description in there as to what we should expect or yeah, what we would expect to see once you finish it. But otherwise, just your URL is fine. What will happen is me, two other students, will click on your URL and then we'll give you some feedback so that you can apply that um, before the feedback that's due the, the next time we meet. All right, and as you are making replies to other people's posts, please try to keep about two replies per post because otherwise what happens is the first person who posts gets like a dozen replies and then everybody else gets one or, or maybe none. So if a post already has two replies to it, please skip it over and find some other posts that don't. So your responsibility is, is to post yours and then to reply to two people's posts, two other people's posts with 
a critique. All right, and what it'll be is a professional style critique, so there's no, you know, bombarding someone, bad mouthing anyone, making someone feel small, anything like that. It's a professional level, like you would do if you had an employee, if you were a, a good employer. <laughs> I'm, they're not all good, right? But um, you know, so what you'll do is, and and don't be too nice either. You need to find at least, you know, one or two things that you that the person could improve on um or or you know fix if it's really obvious that something's out of whack or or just you know i suggest this you just do it in a nice way um but i, I don't want anyone just saying oh i love it and then thinking that they've satisfied this because if you do that that's that doesn't count so even if you think that it is that great that you can't find something that you would improve on at an absolute minimum you need to find something that you could tell the person well and this is only if it's really really good you could say well it looks pretty darn good to me but I might try you know changing this changing that the other thing so this is supposed to be thought-provoking so that uh, people can give it a good thought and, and think about are they as close to perfection as they can be on this website and if they hear the same suggestions or similar suggestions from two col uh, colleagues or classmates and then also for me then you're probably gonna say oh maybe that should be changed all right so uh, and sound like a graphic designer when you talk you know if the site's out of balance talk about that talk about the hierarchy if, there, if the hierarchy could be better if the typography could be better Use graphic designer terms, color, image, unity, rhythm, etc. All right, and then leave off the critique on a positive note. And, and it's very hard to do, but if you're doing it in writing, I know you can do it. But when we do it in person, we always start out with, I like this, uh, you know, because we just we want to be nice. It's kind of in our nature to try to be nice to each other. But in this case, start out pointing out the, the things that could be better, and then save that good tidbit for last and say my favorite thing about your site is, and then boom, once you do that, once you reply to two uh, sites, you'll be good. Oh, and there is a timing thing, yeah. Um, so you should get your discussion posted by early class tomorrow, like say noon at the latest, and then you have until Sunday, end of day, to make the two replies. Try to get it done earlier, better, because uh, next week, I believe, is your spring break. And then I'll start looking at the sites after all the replies are done, uh, which would be first thing Monday morning, and then should have them all done by Wednesday at the latest. Um, and then once spring break does roll around, um, you know, Try to get some R&R. &R. I know for me, I'm going to try to let my fingers heal because I'm not, <laughs> never typed this much before. Um, obviously, it's going to be way different than what you were hoping or expecting, but um, I guess that's just the climate we're in right now. So that's it for today's conversation. Now we're moving on to what is due for the next class. And I know you all are very bright, but um, I had some students at the community colleges start to mix the weeks up, which is very understandable. Um, but just know we're, we're done talking about what you're going to put in that post for today, March 26th, and now we're talking about the following week, which is actually two weeks away because of spring break. Um, and I will answer your emails over spring break. I may not check them quite as frequently as I'm doing now, but um, I will definitely you know, help you out if you're working on your website and you encounter an issue. Okay, so here is what is due for April 10th. We will have our next process check on the portfolio website, which um, if you're following along with the videos would be the start of video 14 or it just basically translates to having everything working in your website minus the contact form. So then you've got one more week to add the contact form and at which time it'll be due. Um, if you're ready to work on a contact form, here's one um, 
area for you to, to, to start working on it. And uh, just a reminder, I mentioned this uh, a while back when we first started on this project, but I know we're using triple zero hosting, which is less than perfect. Um, I, you know, it, it took a while, but I did get um, one of my sites to accept email on the triple zero hosting, but I can tell you it was not nearly as friendly or easy to work with as some of my paid hosting. So put it this way, it's a requirement that you do it. Now, if you get it to work, super great. If you can't, document it. So in other words, based on what you see in these videos, if you take screenshots of what, you know, that you did everything, even if it doesn't work, you won't get marked down, uh, you know, nearly as bad, maybe like a point or two if it doesn't actually um, send out an email. But if you don't even try it, then, you know, you're talking like probably, yeah, since one week late is minus four points, I'd say probably minus four or five points for, uh, you know, missing a, a, a key thing like that. The whole idea is that once you get your own hosting, you'll have went through the process one time and it'll be that much easier. So, you know, just a boost to the learning system. Okay, and then second item is a process check on the UX for your mobile app. Now, this is not all of the UX. This is just the first step of it, which would be like the day that you brought in your websites, where you had like the main page, and then when someone pressed a button, you, know, you had your teammates help you insert the other pages. Now you'll be doing that for your mobile app, so they should be and I would suggest a, a, a 17 inches tall by 11 inches wide um, because that's about what he recommended was going, you know, like four to eight times the, the size of the thing that you'll be working on. Um, so the, the minimum quality would be like, you know, the ones that I bragged up last time. And when you're watching the videos on UX, design and here's just a reminder of, of where they at or where they're at um, and you know at least that quality that they're doing there where they're big they have some hierarchy to them they have some stuff written on there with a sharpie that sticks out further than the stuff written with like say maybe a fine tipped um, sharpie um, yeah so hierarchy color and size um, yeah, you know, like the sticky notes and, and, you know, just that stuff that sets it apart, makes it look like you took some pride in it, um, you know, and essentially show us that you can design even without the computer. Um, all that's required, like I said, is just the basic mobile app construction and then the most significant pages. So, you know, if it's going to have like 30, 40 pages, obviously I don't expect you to have all those done in fact. Um, you never really need to do that many pages. You really, you know, typically four to seven, eight different pages is enough because usually there becomes like a repetitive theme going on that it's not necessary for you to show us every single thing. And then to turn um, everything in that's due, um, this first thing will just be the URL. So again, just that reminder about uh, finessing the triple zero hosting problems. And then to turn in this part of it, you will create a, um, one of two choices. If you're a, a video person, that's probably the easiest option. But if you're not a video person, um, you'll just create a single PDF that clearly demonstrates the UX, which would probably just be um, several photographs showing the different pages come together and if you have a family member that can help you out you know with their fingers being in there even better show us you know someone interacting with it this um you know normally obviously would have been done in person in class but uh, this is where we're at um if the photographs aren't enough and you feel like an explanation is required awesome um i don't care if you you know do this by using um using InDesign or just stitching a bunch of PDFs together using the Adobe PDF um, or Acrobat. And then the other option is video where you upload 
a link.